sometimes in Git you'll have a bunch of commits that you want to perhaps not push up to a remote. So this is the default log output. We have a bunch of messages. They're kind of hard to read here. I have an alias that I've built that looks like this, so it's a little more readable. But let's assume that I have these two commits. Uh, so I've updated the readme, I have the initial check-in, and then I made another change, but I kept messing up. And we've had this happen many times, probably to each of us. And I don't want to push all four of these commits up to the origin because they're just kind of sloppy. So I want to kind of push these into one commit so I can do that using uh, interactive rebase. So if I just do that again, I'll go git lg. That's my custom alias. You could also use git log. I'm going to grab the hash here of the last good commit here. So that's the last good one. And I'm going to say git rebase dash i, which is interactive, and then provide that hash. And then what we'll open is an editor. And here I can do a bunch of different stuff. And I'm not going to break into all of what these mean, but basically what I'm trying to do is squash all of these into one commit. So what I'm going to go ahead and say is I'm, I'm going to say, okay, well, I want to squash this one and this one and this one. And what this will say is take these three commits and squash them into this. So basically shove everything into one commit. Now I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this window out. And then what we're going to get is the commit message editor. So if I leave this as is, my commit message will say fixing typo, adding something else I forgot, uh, and trying again. So when I say git log, this will be one of the log messages. Not too useful. You could keep it there. If you have long messages, you can keep them in there. This is up to you. Here, I'm going to say, all right, well, that's not necessary. I could say something like this, updating to include new instructions for users. And then I hit save, and then I'm going to close this out. And now what's going to happen is git will now have rebased. So I'll say git lg, or git log, you know, log or git lg. And now we can see I no longer have uh, all the other commits that I had before. All the previous commits were now merged into a new commit. This has a different hash than the other one had before. But now I can push it up there, and all of these commits have now been squashed. You know, all the other ones which were present here before I've been squashed into this one. So it makes my commit history a little more cleaner. It's really useful if you are committing a lot to save your hist to save your work, which is exactly what I will do a lot of the time is I'm adding, I'll, you know, I'll say git commit and then I'll, you know, I'll save some work. I've had this happen a lot, uh, especially when I'm playing around and trying to learn something new, I'll save my progress. And then when I'm finally done and I want to clean it up, I'll go back through and do an interactive rebase and squash all the commits into useful commits. And that's a very quick introduction of how you can use squash.